It's so gloomy today and maybe not the best day for recording video, but I think it's a great day to do some redecorating. After I took down my Christmas decor, I didn't put any effort into restyling the spaces again. So it's looking really bland around here. I don't have a plan and I don't really know what I wanna do yet. It might involve some shopping, it might involve some DIY, but first I wanna start with what I already have. The console table is taking on a bit of a rustic antique vibe, and I think this lamp is going to look better there, but not with this shade. My first choice would be like an old straw basket kind of flipped upside down, but I don't have one of those. So I'm hoping this lamp from a previous video, link below, I'm hoping this shade will work. But I do have to use this light bulb because it's a smart light bulb that is programmed to turn on at sunset by Ralph, of course. So let's take some things apart. This is a harp. And some lamps have harps, like this one, and that's what holds a sh shade on. And this one just clamps onto the light bulb, so I had to take the harp off for now. And I don't wanna lose a little nub, so I'm gonna reattach it. These are some of the frames I'm thinking of using. Now this one, I'm really not sure about, so we'll put that aside. This one, well, is just a frame and needs a lot of work. And I have no artwork to put into it, so I have to come up with something creative if I wanna use that. But this one, I'm completely sure about. I know what I wanna do. It's a regular desktop frame, but I have an idea. First off, let's take out the glass. and I'm going to replace the glass with burlap. And then I'm gonna add some feet. That was easy. Now you might be wondering why I left the flap on. I might want to use this later again as a picture frame somewhere, so I don't want to completely remove it. And I checked how it looks on the table downstairs, and because the table's really dark, you don't even notice it. And I have a tray. Look, my little candle on it. I'm loving how the room's coming together, but I can't say the same thing for these little feet that I improvised here. They just really stand out too much against the dark wood. So I'm gonna color them. I think that's better already. Now that's better. For this frame, I've decided that I want to make something that looks like a framed document, just really, really aged. 
I have cardboard that I actually just rescued from the recycling bin, a very textured piece of paper, and a piece of scrapbooking paper. First, I need to cut this Canadian national treasure to size. Then, using Mod Podge, I'm covering the cardboard with the textured paper. Again with the Mod Podge, I'm covering that paper with the decorative scrapbooking paper and I'm going to try to get as much texture showing through as possible. is dried so it's time to age this up. I'm using this antique wax which I've used in a few projects here before. I also have these little metal letters that I'm going to be using to embellish with. Maybe this gloomy day inspired me to go with this darker old world decor. I know spring is supposed to be around the corner, but it's already snowed twice today. This little bird is my nod to spring. I may not have had a plan when I started restyling this space, but I just let inspiration lead the way. This vintage, old world, darker style might not be my typical go-to, but it's fun trying out something new. And it's cozy in here, I really like it. Be brave, try something new. For some of you, that something new could be hitting the subscribe button, which makes as much of a difference to our channel as this new decor did to this room. Thanks, and I'll see you soon. I have to go make a lasagna, so I hope this doesn't take me 400 takes. I mean, we're not letting it probably take me 800, but <sighs> okay. I need a personal assistant, man. I got like fuzz on me. I don't know what my hair's doing. <sighs> this old world vintage style might not be <laughs> Like I said, I didn't want 400. Okay. And I'm done, it's lunchtime. If I went too fast, Ralph, I'm sorry.